guys, what is up? So for today's video, I'm going to show you my top purses, bags, backpacks from Amazon that are under $100. Um, for those of you that are newer, for those of you that don't know, hi, I am addicted to Amazon. I'm the kind of person that really likes to find deals. Even if it is a designer product, I try to search for, obviously, the best price. And um, when it comes to designer things, uh, especially like last season's purses in this example, Amazon will generally and typically have cheaper prices. So without further ado, let's get started. I will be linking all of these down below. And um, in case you don't know, Amazon's prices sort of fluctuate um, depending upon the seller um, day by day. So some of these I might be giving like a ballpark range um, because the prices do end up fluctuating. Okay. So first off, I'm going to talk about this inspired Chloe bag. I'll pop up a picture of it right here. My mom took mine uh, because she liked it so much. I want to say mine was around 20, 30 bucks from Amazon. It's really good quality. Um, so yeah, I don't have it with me obviously because my mom did take it from me. <laughs> the next one I want to talk about is this leather purse. It's more of like a, a day bag. I take it obviously on overnight trips because there is a bunch of stuff in it. Um, I don't know if you've heard of the Whipping Post, but they have really quality leather bags, but they're like $200. And this one is 80 bucks on Amazon. It is really good quality. Um, it's very thick as well. And it comes with a travel cosmetic bag that looks like this. It almost looks like a faux Burberry, but this is giant. I also use this as well. Um, so yeah, for 80 bucks, you can get both of these. This bag I actually just recently bought for a trip. I'm going to Bosnia and Croatia. I recently went to Nashville and I brought my little uh, Louis Vuitton crossbody and it really scared me. So I wanted to get something that was way more affordable and that I could possibly risk uh, getting ruined. Um, so this is a 45, the price sort of ranges from 35, 45 bucks, depending upon um, the person you buy it from on Amazon. But this is what it looks like to me. It also looks like an inspired Chloe bag. It's very, very nice quality. Um, and with the metal handles, but also it comes with the crossbody attachment as well. And um, on the inside, it just has like a flap and then a zipper enclosure as well. And I will be taking this with me. I think it's going to be a perfect travel bag. And I mean, if it gets ruined, hopefully it won't. But if it does, it's a lot cheaper than the other bags that I would have brought. Next, this is a gray backpack. I got this, I think, for my trip to LA. This backpack can run you from $25 to $30. It has a bunch of different attachments, and it also comes with an additional strap so you can sort of hold it like a purse rather than like a backpack, which is what I have it um, like here. And there's a zipper in the back. This is where you would attach to sort of hold it like a purse. Um, it's very durable. Like I said, for the price, you're getting a really good option. Um, I'd seen a couple of these like these at um, Target, but they were around like 40, 50 bucks. So it was actually a better deal just to go ahead and purchase it from Amazon. And it's super cute. This bag is sort of funky, but I got it uh, to use as a beach bag, which I did. The past two times I've been to the beach, I have used this, brought this sucker along. It's sort of funky. It's really different. Um, it comes with the cute little tassel on the front. This is a Steve Madden bag. None of the other ones have been like any particular designer, but there is a opening there. And then it just has a large compartment here with a zipper component and a zipper enclosure as well. This bag, 80 bucks. I love it, I've used it. And it seems to hold up. Like I brought it to the beach obviously, and it's been trucking along there. But yeah, I think this bag is just super unique. Um, not many people are gonna have this. And I thought it was a good alternative for a beach bag because some of the beach bags aren't very cute, but I thought this one was. And it holds a lot, a lot of stuff. So yeah. This one I also got for my trip that I'm going to be taking. This is just a hand woven bag. I do wanna say that these tassels did not come with it. These are an extra $5, I believe on Amazon. I will also link them below. But I just got this plain straw bag. It just has a giant opening. No closures, but I thought it would be perfect for the beach and particularly for pictures. This will run you about $30, $35. Um, there are lots of boutiques um, in online shops, even Nordstrom's, that has 
a lot of bags like this that'll cost you upwards hundred to two hundred dollars and I thought thirty five dollars was an ideal price because honestly I'll use this on vacation maybe a couple times where I live but it won't be a bag that I'll use every single day okay so next is another backpack this brand um you can buy from other spots, but I found the best pricing to be on Amazon. It's just a Herschel nylon backpack. It has these two compartments here, and you open it like that, and then on the inside, there's another zipper compartment, and then just a large compartment with a drawstring, and there is a hidden compartment back there. I took this to Ireland and Scotland with me as um, my personal item when I went on the plane. I tucked my iPad back here and I was able to fit my cameras, my phone obviously, snacks in here. It has a good amount of space and for a decent price as well. So there's that one and also the nylon makes it really easy to clean. Next I have another woven bag. This I got for my trip to Charleston and this cost me about $25. I chose the one that has the cute little blue design on it. There's so many of these like I said in boutiques and even Amazon has like multiple options. Um, so you're not restricted to this blue fabric, but this is what it looks like on the inside. It's just really simple. It's not gonna hold too much, but if you're trying to put together a beachy outfit or something and you just need to tuck like your phone in it, um, you know, like a chapstick or whatever, this is perfect for you. I think I also took this, I've taken this to Miami a couple times and it's lasted that, so it's pretty durable. <laughs> This purse is actually one that I featured in a different Amazon video. I think I did that video like two years ago. Um, and I think I paid around $60 for this purse. It is just a Steve Madden crossbody bag, but it is the funkiest crossbody bag. Um, I think it's very, very unique. Obviously the tassels, the faux coins that are on the front. Um, it has the flap that opens up like that. And then you have multiple compartments in there. I have a slinky in there. Why? I have no idea. Um, that just sort of opens like that and has the strap with like little stud details on it. This one is super cute, super unique. I tend to stray towards definitely like the basic sort of bags, but also the super unique bags that stand out. But lastly, I have this Sam Edelman bag. Um, usually in my Amazon videos, I like to show designer things that I've gotten for a way better deal. So this bag actually came with the price tag of $130 on it. I paid 60 bucks for this. It's a metal feeling sort of bag with the chain, obviously a cross body. And when you open it, once again, not too much room on the inside, but I think it's more of like a statement piece. Um, I got this for my trip as well. I'm hoping to um, pair it with sort of like a basic outfit and have this as the standout piece. Obviously, I don't think I would pay $130 for this piece, but I saw it at a really good price on Amazon, so I went ahead and I got it. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any video suggestions, any comments, recommendations, please leave it down below, and until next time, bye!